named Shannon Rozak. I'm 48 years old. On April 27th, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. I started feeling that something was, was wrong and I went to the doctor. A couple months after that, the blood came and then I knew something was really wrong and that's when I went into the hospital and got diagnosed. You know, um, I have friends that are getting along right now and I just, I wish they would, you know. Life is just, you know, I let, um, I, just, I, I don't take anything for granted anymore. Nothing. And yeah, the sun is beautiful. You know, wake up to another day. That's a that's a blessing. You know, watching my kids, being with my kids another day. It's a total blessing. Yeah. Not fighting. You know, just trying, you know, I just, I try not to worry anymore about anything. Really. It's just, it's not, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. Yeah. No more. How do you feel today? Today, I feel good. You do. Today's a good day. Could you? Would you even know anything was wrong with you? No. Even know? Mm -hmm. Really? No. I and I feel like my pain is gone. Um, I lost so much weight. Got all my weight back. Started lost a little bit of my hair, but my hair never really fell out. That started coming back. So no, I like right now. I don't feel sick. I I don't feel sick. That's why it's so hard. It's really hard. I know. I mean, you don't look like you're sick. Thank you. You look like Teacher Shannon to me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's hard. It's hard to it's, it's hard to accept when you don't feel it, sick, you know? Yeah. But I am. Like, not so much. I, I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I just don't know why my kids got handed the, is have to deal with this that that's hard you know it's for me it's fine but you know I just you know to lose both parents to not have both parents you know at so young I just I don't understand I, I don't know why and we were good people you know Daryl was a great great human being you know I'm a, I'm a good person I I don't know why he would I, I just don't understand it I don't understand it Talk about something happy. Okay. <laughs> Your friends. Mm -hmm. Great. Great friends. They rally around me all the time. They're constant there. They're, I have the best friends in the world. I have the best friends in the world. Do anything for me and my children. Tell us about the children. Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs> okay. Well, we already know, so you okay. got to say it in a full sentence. I ha but, okay. Know. I have a son named Riley, who's 14, and my daughter Peyton, who is 12. Um, Riley is in uh, ninth grade, Peyton, seventh grade. They're both doing sports. Riley's into football. My daughter Peyton's into basketball. They're both very athletic. This is Riley and Peyton when they were little, and this is Peyton's second birthday, <laughs> <laughs> and this is their dad, Daryl, who passed away three years ago, with the babies, and this is me in the hospital with Peyton being born. Oh, where was she born? She was born at Henry Mayo. Riley was born at uh, Valley Press. Okay. And um, here's another picture of Riley and Daryl. All right, now you said something about uh, El Nino and... Yeah, Riley uh, was born in 98 during El Nino. And uh, I was in the hospital and they had to change my room twice because the hospital, the ceiling was leaking. <laughs> That's how bad it was raining. That's how crazy it was. And then driving home from the hospital, 
Um, all the freeways were flooded, and it was our first baby, so we were very nervous just even driving with a baby in the car. So Daryl was like white knuckling it all the way home, and I was in the back crying and screaming and just praying that we made it home safe, which we did. <laughs> Thank God. And then Peyton was born August 9th, 2000. And she was a C-section baby because she was a breech. And she wouldn't turn around very, very hard-headed little girl, even then. <laughs> 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 but they're great kids. I love my kids. They're, they're great. They're great kids. Really good kids. I don't know. Here, I'll just show that to embarrass them. <laughs> Look how dirty the water is. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> but no, um, just um, just day in and day out life. Yeah, yeah. Just, but they're really. I'm blessed with some great, great, great children. Really good kids. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the part that's so poignant. It's just you know the pictures don't have to be big time stuff. No. You know. They're just, yeah. So tomorrow you're gonna have, you're gonna have a CAT scan tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll keep me abreast of everything. I will let you know. Okay. I will let you know. And we wanna thank Amy for coming. I wanna thank Amy for coming and help supporting me. Scott, I wanna thank you for doing this for me. Dave, thank you so much. You guys, this is something I really wanted to do for my, for the kids. And um, thank you, thank you so much.